Hello everybody, this is Nan with a backpack coming to you from Terminal 5 in Heathrow Airport. In this video, I am going to show you my journey from Heathrow all the way to Hong Kong. Passed through security already. It's like nobody's here. It's so quiet. It was lovely. Straight in, straight through. And I am just about to head off to Hong Kong for the first four days of the beginning of my second year of travel. I am really looking forward to it. I'm literally just sat here watching the planes go up and down. I'm on a British Airway flight, takes off at 8.45 and lands in Hong Kong at 5.45 I believe, it's about 13 hours, something like that. And I tried last night to book myself a new seat because they put me in the middle, in the middle of a 333 seat configuration. But unfortunately, whatever I did, didn't register on the BA check-in. So I am still in the middle, in the middle. It's been a lovely four months back in England with family and friends, but I'm really ready to set off now. And I'm hoping gonna sleep for the first few hours, if I can. And then from then on, stay up, because when I get there, it will be 5.45, so I can get there get the bus to my hostel and then crash and then hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow kind of half human but there's an eight hour time difference we will wait and see I sat here charging my phone because I used it too much now the battery's almost run out I'm loving my little setup with the smaller bag here as well I had about 45 minutes by the time I got to my gate and I watched the air stewards and air stewardesses go onto the plane. I just really was looking forward to the flight. And before I knew it, we were walking down the tunnel onto the plane. And because it was a night flight, all the lights were turned off for most of the flights. I actually missed the dinner. So I've got no footage to show you of the dinner because I got on the plane and I managed to doze, kind of sleep for about the first three hours. And then I just watched about three movies. Um, and before we knew, before I knew it, I was landing in Hong Kong. It was really nice. And one of the air hostesses, Louise, I think her name was, she was so nice, so friendly. In fact, all the BA staff were, it was a brilliant flight. And I really didn't find it that uncomfortable, sat in economy. I'm five foot five and I have plenty of leg room. Obviously, if you're six foot plus, you might have a little more problems. But for me, it was a really nice flight. Thoroughly enjoyed it, really. Just before landing, we were served breakfast, um, which was a bit strange because normally on long haul flights, they serve your meals for your new destination. Um, they didn't do that this time. We got on, they served dinner and then they allowed us to sleep and then they served breakfast just before we landed which was 5.45 ish in Hong Kong time. Because I was hand luggage only I didn't have to wait to collect my luggage at all. I just walked straight through and did my passport control which was really really easy. I then walked outside and found a little ticket office um, to get a ticket for the bus. It was A21, which takes you directly from the airport into the main city. I will put the name just here of the stop that I got off at. And it was really easy. I think it was like uh, 34 Hong Kong dollars for the ticket. The one thing I would say is when you're in the airports, they advertise for you to get a 
octopus cards. You can either pick up a physical card or if you have an Apple iPhone, you can download the app and refill it. Um, you can't really get anywhere in Hong Kong without your octopus card. So I highly recommend you getting one. I've just got on the um, number, I think it's A21 or 21A bus. So hopefully this will take me somewhere near my hostel. But who knows, we just have to wait and see. It did take me a little bit of time to find my hostel because the actual building itself is under a little bit of construction on the main entrance right now. So there was no signs outside to let me know that that was my hostel. So I walked up and down outside a few times going, mm, where is it, where is it? But again, everybody was really friendly. I just asked and they said, yeah, it's in there up on the fifth floor. So yeah. And this is where I'm staying. Pop in. The hostel itself was in a fantastic location. It really was walkable to everywhere. And it was nice and comfortable as well, just what you want because Hong Kong can be slightly more expensive. Um, and I found this great. Really recommend this hostel. It's the Hop In. I will leave the details and a link to the booking.com link for this hostel in the description down below. How lucky am I? I've got a bottom bunk. I couldn't be happier. So even though my flight was very smooth, jet lag is real. <laughs> there is no getting around it. So when I got there, I asked the lady behind the desk at the hostel and she recommended me to go to this street here. So I walked down and went to a little local restaurant where you order the soup and then they ask you how spicy you want it. So I asked for medium and then what noodles you want. And I tried glass noodles. Never tried them before. Don't think I'll try them again. Glass noodles aren't for me. So if I have it again, it will be regular noodles for me. After that, I just went straight back to my hostel and crashed and slept. And I slept really well, actually, as well. So here we are in Hong Kong. So if you like the video and you want to follow Nan with a Backpack's adventure on her year two's travel, please hit the like, hit the subscribe and the little bell button because it really helps me, even if you just give me a like. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my word. Okay, the views are spectacular. I'll show you.